Welcome back guys, back at it again with another reactions video. My name is Angel, today I'm going to be reacting to Who is the GOAT according to statistics? Messi versus Ronaldo. With all that being said, let's see who is the GOAT, statistically speaking. Messi versus Ronaldo, who is the real GOAT? Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, who is the greatest football player of all time? It won't be a lie if I say that this is probably the most asked question in sports fraternity. What started as a mere rivalry between the fans of the two greats quickly became an important question for commentators, experts, sports journalists, and the players themselves. The reason that these two greats are compared so much to each other is that both of them came into limelight close by with Ronaldo making his debut in adult professional football in 2003 for Portugal and Messi in 2004 for Barcelona and That's Argentina. As close as possible. They both started young and reached their peaks in their 20s while playing great number of games against each other where both Ronaldo and Messi played a pretty critical role for their respective teams. In 2007, Ronaldo and Messi finished as runners-up to Kaká in both the Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year. In an interview that year, Messi was quoted as saying that Cristiano Ronaldo is an extraordinary player and it would be brilliant to be in the same team as him. Man, <laughs> that's some real high praise. First game against each other. They first played against each other when Manchester United were drawn to play Barcelona in 2007-08 UEFA Champions League final and were immediately pitted as major rivals, and rightly so. Ronaldo missed a penalty, but the game was still won by MU at the end. This year ended with Ronaldo winning the Ballon d'Or, thus initiating a never-ending competition of trophies and awards. Dream Clash The next time these two came to play against each other was the 2009 UEFA Champions League final between Manchester United and Barcelona. Media and fans described this match as a dream clash. The hype was so high that Ronaldo himself claimed that he was certainly better of the two players in question, oh. while Messi didn't answer the question yet. That match ended with Barcelona winning the league by 2-0 and Lionel Messi scored the second goal in 70 minutes. After this, both these players have faced each other each year in many tournaments and well with both of them playing their top game. For 15 consecutive years, it's quite hard to say that who is the greatest, so let's dive into some facts and figures while taking a look at trophy cabinets of both players. Player Profiles both of these players have played their fair share of games of football. In his career, Messi spent 21 years with FC Barcelona, but is now playing at A French lot. club PSG, while on the other hand, Portugal skipper Ronaldo has played his club football with Sporting Lisbon, Manchester United, Real Madrid, and Juventus. In the 2021, he made a sensational return to United. However, his second spell is now over as he had left United ahead of the World Cup. Matches and Goals in his career, Ronaldo has made a total of 1,145 appearances, and during this, he scored an astonishing number of 819 goals and 234 assists. While his counterpart Messi isn't much behind, scoring 793 goals and 350 assists and 1,003 appearances. Now, if you see the goals, then surely Ronaldo is ahead, but don't forget that he has also played 142 was about more to say. games than Messi. Yeah. During their career, Ronaldo has 60 hat tricks in his bag, while Messi has 56. Oof, that's a close competition. For Portugal, Ronaldo has scored 118 goals in which 8 of them came in World Cups, while Messi has scored 98 goals with 13 in the World Cups. Now surely, we can't really reach a conclusion by looking at number of goals, so let's see who's better in tournaments and in lifting up the trophies. Champions League With a tally of 140 goals, CR7, is the all-time leading goal scorer in the Champions League, having performed extremely well with Real Madrid and Manchester United. However, Messi isn't much far behind and actually has a better goal per game ratio, 0 0.8, mm. as compared to Ronaldo's 0 0.77. So there is a good chance that he could overtake Ronaldo in this. Titles. Messi and Ronaldo have similar enough trophies placed in their cabinets, but Messi takes the lead and when it comes to league titles, having 10 La Liga titles with Barcelona and League One once with PSG. Ronaldo has seven league titles, but unlike Messi, he can claim to have won the league in three different countries, England, Spain, and Italy, something that increases his claim to be the GOAT crown in the eyes of some. To be honest, that is a pretty big deal. In terms of Champions League, Ronaldo has an edge even earning the title of Mr. Champions League. On international stage, Ronaldo has a great start with Portugal winning the European Championship and the, e the UEFA Nations League. 
Now, the Argentine star had a series of heartbreaks in the beginning, but as we move into 2023, Messi has more titles winning the Copa America, Olympics medal, and the World Cup, hence taking his titles tally to a staggering number of 29 as compared to Ronaldo's 22. Individual Awards The individual battle between these two players has been a defining feature of modern-day football. Doesn't matter if you aren't a fan of either of them, still, you see this question thrown around you hundreds of times a year, that who's the GOAT? If we talk about individual achievements, Messi went ahead of Ronaldo in the Ballon d'Or stakes when he won his sixth in 2019 and cemented his superior status in that field with his seventh in 2021. Ronaldo has five to this date. On the other hand, Ronaldo does boast more of FIFA's new The Best Awards, two as compared to Messi's one. Ronaldo has been crowned UEFA Player of the Year four times while Messi has won this award three times. Messi has won more League Player of the Year accolades six times than Ronaldo, which is four times. Messi has got his hands on the European Golden Shoe a record six times, which is two more than Ronaldo. This much close competition for every trophy gives you an idea of how fierce this debate is. These guys going World at Cup it. 2022. The year 2022 was a special and emotional year for fans of both Ronaldo and Messi. Both these players made their World Cup debuts in 2006, but hadn't got their hands on the trophy yet. 2022 World Cup was their last international appearance, so the stakes for them, especially, were pretty high. Both teams had a good group stage in round of 16, but it certainly wasn't the year for Portugal when Thierry eyes Ronaldo left the field after 1-0 quarter final loss from Morocco, and with him the hopes of millions of his fans. While on the other side of the spectrum, Messi kept moving forward with a goal at each stage of the tournament, finally ending the drought for his country and won the World Cup. Is the GOAT debate over? Man, I don't really know what to say, because the other side will have a nasty breakdown in the comments section. But to be honest, Lionel Messi seems to have ended the GOAT debate between him and Cristiano Ronaldo by winning his maiden FIFA World Cup title with Argentina. Yeah. Until the 2022 FIFA World Cup final, there wasn't much separating Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. In Qatar, however, Messi made the final leap in his career as he led his men to glory by defeating France in the final. Seeing yeah. Messi complete football, a debate over the real GOAT in world football has ended in the eyes of many fans and experts. England star Declan Rice took to Twitter to term the Argentine star the best ever with the GOAT emoji. The retired Liverpool defender Jamie Carragher has also put Messi at the top of his list of all-time greats. After the final, even FIFA posted that the goal debate is over, although they deleted the post after a few minutes. I know that this is hard for many Cristiano fans, but according to many experts, having all major trophies and a better goal match ratio essentially makes Messi the GOAT. Conclusion For most fans, this question is far from being answered, but one thing that we know for sure is that these two had made watching football pretty interesting for people all over the world. Yeah. Their fans adore them, and they'll keep on believing that they are the greatest, because honestly, they are. After Pele and Maradona, two players that brought massive fan fouling to this game are Messi and Ronaldo. With both of them getting close to retirement, we don't really know how much of them we'll see absolutely smashing in the field. But hey, at least we were here to see them achieve greatness. Well, that concludes that video of Lionel Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo debate. Um, yeah, like he said, before 2022, you know, World Cup, it seems like it was really close, you know, and the accolades were right there. Although Messi did play a lot less games than Ronaldo. So that's probably why it seems close, statistically speaking. Uh, Trophy-wise, like it looks like, you know, Messi had it regardless. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a fun debate. It's nothing to be disrespectful about. Both of those players were amazing, and I think both of them competing from from early of their careers to where they are now to the end of their careers have made football so much better. And I'm I think for future generations, it's going to make it more exciting. For football fans and fans all over the world that love sports, you know, and it's just going to generate better players because a lot of kids are going to have probably watched them growing up. And then those are going to be their role models, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, and they're going to want to play like them or play better than them, you know, statistically and trophy wise speaking, and just try to, you know, it's just going to make the sport better, you know, and try to create a legacy for themselves. You know, so it's going to be fun for, you know, football fans all over the world just to see how the future comes into fruition with all the players coming into the leagues and you know the competition's just going to get only better you know these guys were carrying it for a long time 
you know, seems like 20 plus years. And now that's other, now it's time to pass the torch and for other players to carry on and, you know, carry the league. We'll see, we'll see what players show up and show out. But, uh, yeah, this is a fun, this is a fun debate. Um, personally speaking, outside looking in, it just looks like Messi has everything. The accolades, you know, the championships, you know, but one can say that he had the better teams. You know, it looks like that he seemed like he had the better team. And if Cristiano Ronaldo had similar talent, I'm not sure what would have happened. Um, let me know down in the comments if I'm right on that. I, I honestly looking from from back here and not really watching much football. It just looks like Messi had a better team, you know. But uh, with all that being said, if you like the content, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and see you on the next one.